I'm Bernie Tan. Uh, I'm a curator and also an artist. I think when I was in JC, I, was, I took art as a subject and my art teacher there, Mr Chia, he was, it was quite a formative two years uh, being his student. Um, and it made me seriously consider going into the arts. But then, at the same time, I was also conscious that I didn't just want to be an artist or just want to be a curator. Um, so when I went for my undergraduate studies in New York, I picked a program that was a bit more open. I came back from New York. I worked as an assistant curator for O Open House um, for a couple of years. Then I kind of switched back to my art practice and then I went for my master's um, in London. And then I came back and started working on more independent curatorial projects. So in the past maybe one and a half years, that's when I've really been starting to shape my, my kind of independent curatorial approach. Yeah. The thing I love most about curating, I think, is working with artists. Um, I think as an artist myself, it's, it's kind of the premise of my whole practice that, that we are able to, to connect on that level and that I can kind of practice certain empathy and sensitivity with the way that I communicate with them um, and the kind of negotiation of how much space to give them and how much advice to give them. Um, and I guess just the, the joy of like being there and present for that moment when they figure out this is the, the, you know, the right thing for, for my practice. I, just being around them and learning from them as well, I think is the most um, fulfilling part of, of being a curator, yeah. In the past year, I've done two curatorial projects that um, both are quite different. So one is something that has been kind of brewing in my head for a long time called Maybe We Read Too Much Into Things, where I worked with six artists who, who um, kind of play with the materiality of everyday objects. Um, so that, uh, I got to work with artists that I, you know, have been wanting to work with for, for a while and haven't had the chance to kind of put together. Um, and I think that turned out well and, and taught me a lot about, about what I value as a curator. Um, and then I, I went on to do a second show called Recast, which was with Anthony Chin and Green Zeng. They invited me for that project and it was very different from my previous one. But then I think in the challenges of, of managing that project and, and um, trying to figure out how I as a curator could respond to, to them given my the things that I learned from the previous project, um, I think that also taught me a lot about how to, be a, to, to adapt and how to kind of be able to inject my own style into, into works that maybe might not on paper seem like, um, like artists that I would work with. Yeah. I was encouraged to apply for this uh, prize and I also felt like right now was a good time for me to, to sort of, um, because I, I, was, I had done two exhibitions that I think were were quite strong in their own ways and that I also had, you know, was more stable in, 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 in having this, this grasp of my own practice and my own approaches. So it felt like I could present myself um, in a way that I think was um, suited, suitable for, for this prize, yeah. So this is the first um, art prize that I've actually won. Uh, so it's, it's really quite validating that, that um, people have recognised that there's value in my practice. Um, as a curator, I've always tried to stay true to, to what is, I mean, what I feel like is, is the best for the artists. So for, for the jury to come in and recognise that what I've been doing is, is, is good and, and beneficial, then I think that's, that's really, um, uh, it's very fulfilling for me. As an independent curator, you don't necessarily have a steady income because you are kind of going from project to project and juggling many things at, at a time. So I think um, having this, this money actually gives me a bit more elasticity to pursue projects that I want to pursue and not just for um, you know, the sake of, of income or what, what I might get paid. Um, I think it's also this that will help me in my, you know, move forward in my career as I, as I try to, to work towards shaping uh, my practice and also possibly even start my own space, yeah. So I think it's really important to carve out your own space um, and to kind of use that space to explore and to kind of reflect on what your practice is and to constantly build this awareness of, of what is important to you and what you value. 
Um, and I think, you know, it's, it's not just about doing multiple projects, but also about, um, I guess, you know, really having this presence of mind uh, to um, understand what your practice is and what you can contribute to the world by, you know, whatever it is, it is whatever you're doing creatively. Um, but I think, especially for curators, I think it's really important to build relationships with artists and for artists to kind of, um, you know, be your priority rather than necessarily your idea. I mean, that's, that's what I think is really important as a curator, which is that, that you're there to support the artist's practice. And um, so that's what I think uh, young curators should really focus on. Yeah.